Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's a bins day, and I have not been to the bins in over two weeks, so I'm ready to do some digging. Um, if you're new here, I'm Quen B. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I go to places like the Goodwill Outlet Bins, and I dig through bins of clothing, and I pay $3.49 a pound. If you have a bins near you, it's probably a lot less expensive than that, but it still works out great for me. I have not been to the bins in weeks because my other work has just picked up. This is a very busy time of year for me. Um, I'm also a psychotherapist, so it's busy and I need my thrift therapy, my friends. <laughs> so we're going to go thrifting and see what we can find. I'll take you into the bins, show you some footage of what I'm finding there, and then I'll do a haul for you. So let's go. Good morning, friends. I've been here about a half an hour. I figured we could do our first cart check. I don't have anything absolutely incredible. I do have an Eileen Fisher jacket in there and I sold an Eileen Fisher jacket I found here that was made of wool for $99. So I'm definitely on the hunt. This, there's a ton of men's blazers. I don't want to deal with men's blazers, but I always look. This is Yves Saint Laurent. So I saw this made in France. So this is truly a designer one. Ugh. I don't want to deal with a blazer, you guys. Got to make sure there's a size. Oh, there's someone's name written on it. Grand sitter? I don't know what that means. So that's a maybe. Do not let me leave with this amazing quilt. Um, it's kind of a crazy quilt. This one's not real old, but I have a vintage quilt collection, so I do not need any more, but for five bucks. Look at this, pretty chill. There's like five people looking at clothes. So, I'll, I'll check back in when it's time to maybe do some sorting or something. <laughs> Alright, so this is a total shame. I love the color on this and the distressed wash. This is uh, Pilcro. And this is a newer piece because it doesn't say Pilcro on the letterpress. It just says Pilcro for Anthropology. But it's got all these pulls in it. I mean, I could maybe sweater shave, but I think that's just too much. But I love it. But look at all that. Ugh, I don't want to deal with that. Maybe pile. This is the maybe pile. Alright friends, this was the highlight of my day. In the last bins we found all this vintage nude tag, otherwise known as dead stock. Dance exercise wear. Like, look at this. I'm going to lot it up and sell it on eBay. This is like a leotard. <laughs> oh my god, could you get any more 80s? Duck crossing. All nude tag. I do have to go through it because someone just um, told me to look for like, make sure it still has elastic. Look at this leotard. Oh, with a matching bow. Come on right now. It's so good, I can barely stand it. So I'm gonna like check it all out, but this is hilarious. Someone from like the 80s, 90s wants their kids to have this, I guarantee. Some of it's new in the bag. This one's called Dance France. <laughs> So good. Okay, I gotta go through it all. And then I got some some other stuff I'll show you guys. Okay, friends, welcome to the haul portion of the video. If you've been here before, you know I usually throw in more bins clips and what solds and who knows what else. Everything you're about to see here cost me $120. That's pretty amazing. I don't go through and count every item anymore, you guys. I used to and to figure out my cost of goods. Now I, I realize my cost of goods for items at the bins with cost averaging is about $1.52 an item and that works for me. Including this crazy quilt that I got. You guys can see I've got a quilt in the background. I love taking vintage quilts and throwing them over furniture or put them in spilling out of baskets. This one's not as old. Um, you can tell because it's, well the, the front is hand stitched but the back is uh, just a machine piece, but it's really cute. I'll probably just add this one to my collection. And, oh yeah, I do have it. It also includes this Faraday tote bag. <laughs> I did not find the brand Faraday in this haul, but that is a pretty good Bolo brand. So I also got some um, things for the kiddos I work with as a psychotherapist. I found some journals and paper and stickers and they usually just give me a pretty good price on that stuff let's get into it it was a solid bins day by that i mean 
I found stuff pretty easily. It didn't feel like a total grind. I got lots of bread and butter brands that I love to sell and a few things that I know will sell for a little bit more. These are We The Free Free People pants. They're a pretty good style and that they're sort of a raw hem straight leg. This color looks crazy on camera, but it's sort of like a, I guess they are kind of a rusty orange. They're size 26, wish they were bigger of course, but corduroys have been popular this year and um, that raw hem is still really popular. This is Vintage Victoria's Secret. I pick up all Victoria's Secret at the bins, um, but Vintage does better. Here's the Vintage tag. It's printed in gold, Victoria's Secret. Um, I found a robe at the bins that was missing the belt that I still sold very quickly for $35. So you can Google the tags, but um, People love their vintage Victoria's Secret. Look at the cute print and color on this. I really love this combo, a bright pink with an orange. And I got this for style more than brand. It's kind of that balloon sleeve peasanty top style. The brand is Sanctuary. And um, I love everything this brand makes. It just doesn't resell for a lot, but this one's new tag with the Stitch Fix tags and it's an XL. Daily button front top, pink. What the heck? I guess it does have buttons, but I would never name that this. <laughs> Nobody consulted me. Great style, new with tag, and a great size. I got a couple pair of these J. Crew pants because they're a small tall. One, I like the style, but I like having tall because that's more specific. There's not as many of them listed on eBay, so I think I have a better chance of selling them. J. Crew denim small tall and these are a chambray elastic waist pull on pants i love that style of pant just goes with everything comfort casual looks so good so i found another pair of uh those small talls okay okay the highlight of my day <laughs> was finding these vintage girls 1980 new tag dead stock leotards and workout dance wear we had such a good time it was so fun um so these are what the tags look like so these have been in somebody's storage probably forever is that not 1980s screaming unitard <laughs> i'm i was i'm thinking that like somebody from the 80s or who loves their 80s vintage wants their little girl dressed up in this there's t I got tons of it. I had to double check the elastic because that goes on vintage stuff. This one is Action Fashions. And it's little bike shorts, so 80s, and little leotards. All new with tag dead stock. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is maybe lot these up into a couple of lots. Um, I got a lot of it, so I'll just, you know, put this over here on the side and we'll move on. But Oh, did we have so much fun laughing and looking at that stuff. Absolutely love this. The brand is Love and Confuse. Never heard of it. Well then, Quemby, why did you buy this top by Love and Confuse when you've never heard of the brand? I buy things for all reasons. Brand is probably number one, but I'm also looking at fabric, size, style, and this hit all the other ones. This is an oversized, 100% linen, boxy, bohemian, lagin look type top. So I know I can sell this. I'm checking to see if there's a size, size large, 100% linen, made with love, okay? So maybe I'll find this brand when I search for comps and I'll be like, wow, this is so good. And maybe I'm just gonna sell it with those keywords because a lot of women love that style. This is similar to, this top feels amazing. This is one of my favorite things I found. It's very heavy because of the intricate beadwork. Has a couple spots on it, so it's going to go in my stain treating pile. Look at all that beadwork. The tag looks good enough. Griffin, New York, G-R-Y-P-H-O-N. I feel like this could be something good. Maybe you all know it and you're like, yeah, Quimby. Um, oh, I love this, the heavy, heavy beadwork on that. I need to put it in a separate pile because it's got a couple spots if I remember. So it needs the Quemby Magic Formula Stain Treating, which is not really my formula. I learned it somewhere. I think a lot of people use it. It's Blue Dawn Dish Liquid, Hydrum Peroxide, and Baking Soda. I don't know the exact ratios. I stir it up into a paste. 
I put that stuff on there, I let it sit 24 hours, I wash it. Sometimes I have to do the treatment more than once, but most of the time it gets everything out. This is Giorgiolini, <laughs> but it has the magic made in Italy, which is usually enough for me to pick something up. Men's sweater, size XL, made in Italy, and I believe it's cashmere. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's 100% merino wool. Just a gray men's made in Italy. Merino wool is a very high quality wool. This is Columbia Sportswear, which is sold at REI. And I picked this up because it's a little dress and I often don't see this. It's a little athletic wear dress, nice color, pocket, super stretchy, hiking, camping, outdoor. If you didn't know, the bloopers are always at the end of the video. I know it's hard to believe that I would even make a blooper, but somehow I do, so they'll be at the end. And take this moment to make sure you've given the video a thumbs up like and that you're subscribed. I think this is vintage free people, however, I know that Free People has been using the vintage style tag again, so I'll have to do a little research. This is absolutely gorgeous silk dress. So feminine, romantic, cottage core, beautiful midi dress, floral silk with lace details. Look at that tag though. So I'm going to guess, although no, it still has this new tag. I don't know. It's a gorgeous silk dress in a size 4 absolutely stunning so there it is i'm showing it to you <laughs> the mini and maxi i can usually get 30 dollars. i have had some epic free people sales lately but that's because a while back i brought from my wholesale company that i like help see source there's a link and a discount code in the description if you're interested in checking out how wholesale i got a new tag free people box and omg some pieces were basic because that's the way it goes and some were extraordinary maxi dresses jackets i sold a dress for 158 dollars this weekend on poshmark from that box so i know wholesale is not for everybody but it's a really good supplement for me personally um these are j jill size large which is fantastic i love this brand in large these are linen pull-on elastic waist wide leg pants Yes, that's what I'm usually looking for in this brand. Okay, here's the pile of stuff that has to go back because it either has a flaw or turns out not to be as good as I thought. That's all I've got for what I'm taking so far, but look at these. Like a stone wash, acid wash, flare pant with heavy embroidery. I don't know what this brand is. Is that hardtail? I'll have to look it up. But, um... I hope these fit me. They look a little small, but give me a little embroidery, some lace, a pom-pom. I am like the happiest girl. So this is a top I found that I just looked up and comp looks to be around $40. The brand is The Kit. Um, I thought it was going to be one of those like sun protection shirts because that's what it feels like. But then I looked in here in the tag and it's made of bamboo. So when something's made of bamboo, I can put the keywords in, obviously bamboo, but I can put eco-friendly, luxury fabric, that kind of stuff. So um, that's a really good pickup. Oh no, everybody's lined up for the next rotation and I have done very little sorting of my car, you guys. I don't know what to do about this Eve Saint Laurent blazer. The comps are all over, from like $20 to $200. This is definitely vintage. I don't like that it's got the writing on the neck. So I'm going to put it in this giant maybe pile and see. Why is it so busy in here today? I totally love this. I would get this if it wasn't stained. It's just Old Navy, but it's Old Navy plus size. And it's like a gauzy black tunic with tons of embroidery. Look at that. I saw plus size old neighbor, but it's got bleach stains. What a shame. XXL, I love that, I would wear that. I'm going through my exercise wear. <laughs> I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. Hopefully there's some other good stuff in there for us. Here's a bunch more of the vintage girls, leotards and sets. I mean, it's so good. Um, 
this one in particular <laughs> says dance france look at the 80s graphic there oh my god you cannot maybe someone's doing a movie or something with dance girls in it and they need from me this spandex bike shorts and crop top set <laughs> yeah i got it here friends <laughs> do you hear screaming it could be for me but it could also be from my son and his friend who are upstairs playing minecraft these got all wrinkly which is unfortunate soft surroundings great brand in a petite xl great brand great size this is a newer soft surroundings tag you either love these or you hate them pull on very stretchy neon yellow green pants i like that brand Ooh, look at this print that print is good right i'm in northern california here so i just love all the boho prints this is a jumpsuit and it's by ann taylor loft beach and it's an xl ann taylor loft has to be a pretty good piece for me to pick it up because it's kind of a lower line of ann taylor but this in my mind is that sort of piece orange floral jumpsuit so if it goes all the way to the floor like that a long leg it's a jumpsuit it's got pockets if it only went down to shorts it would be a romper um it took me forever to figure that out you gotta remember you guys when you're building your titles and descriptions on ebay and poshmark wherever you sell depop macari facebook you have to remember we've been trained many of us like a reseller we know all these keywords, but remember, a lot of people don't. Like, if you're just a regular lay person going on eBay searching for an item, what are you going to actually put in there? You don't, You might put um. You might put jumpsuit, romper, jumper. Who knows what you're going to put in there? You might not know all that stuff. So I try and add. I try and think like a regular person. What are they searching for? I love the style on this. This is so preppy to me. This is not my personal style, but very classic. This is a Banana Republic sheath dress in a size 14. So again, okay brand, but great size and style. This reminds me of something somebody would wear to the country club, maybe. To the ladies' brunch. I like that a lot. This is a new to me brand, and when I saw it, the reason I even stopped to look is because it reminded me of one of those shirts that people wear that have like um, sun protection in them because it's like got a turtleneck and it's that stretchy, almost swimsuit like material. But it's not, it's just made out of bamboo. This is, and then the tag looked cool, so I looked it up at the Benz, the kit size large they make like eco-friendly tops and things so this is a bamboo top when you see something like that a unique material that's a quality material like bamboo or pima cotton or we all know like silk tensile lyocell um check it out and look it up because those are expensive fabrics this is another thing I looked up, never heard of it. Welly Gogs, distinctly British. Just thought it was a cool tag. And these are expensive. They make a lot of jackets and things it looks like. And this is a women's top with like a high ruffle neck. It's buttoned down. The front is cotton like a regular business shirt. And then the sleeves are more like a jersey. So interesting brand. This looks so crisp. It is very difficult to buy white on the second hand market so be careful friends another bra for my bra selling business i sell so many bras for 15 20 dollars unless they're a really spectacular brand this is soma vanishing back full coverage lace trim 34 dd that makes it very easy for me to list maybe someone knows they love this but soma s-o-m-a they make expensive intimates, bras, nightgowns, pajamas, lounge clothing, good brand. What do we have here? This was in somebody else's throwback pile. Athleta, Athleta, size small, designed in San Francisco. When it says designed in San Francisco, this is a newer piece within the last few years. So that stuff's done better for me. 
This feels silky. It's got a roost gathered front there, a zipper back pocket, a zipper front. It kind of reminds me of like something that someone would wear uh, cycling. Now what I do is I look for the tag inside and hope that it's there. I don't know if it is on this piece. Some people cut them out because they're not comfortable. Anyway, you can get the style number and then put that into Google, Google to get the style number on that particular piece. Ooh, a little Lululemon at the Binnies. I never mind that. Thank you, I'm so grateful. This looks like just a regular gray and white striped top, but then look at the back. Oh, crisscrossy action back hit. And for those of you learning, let me try and find that Lululemon logo that we all love to see. I've been selling so much Lululemon because, again, I bought the Helpsy Source Lululemon boxes. They're still up on their site. I think what they have left is pretty darn expensive, like the jackets. But I have sold those jackets. I know some of you are worried about me. Like, why do you want to pay $20 an item? I'm like, because it's a Lululemon jacket, size 12, and I can get sell it for $50. That's fine with me. Sometimes I'm only making five, eight, ten dollars on some of these things that I sell. So if I have to pay up 20 to sell it for 50, I sold one for 58 on Poshmark, that's that's a bigger profit. So it makes sense to me. That's not my whole business model. I absolutely love this. This is Princess Polly. I think it's a boutique brand or a catalog brand. They make really cool sweaters and dresses. This is a baby doll. This says large XL. This looks like a plus size to me. Kind of an oatmeal linen. So this is called a baby doll hem. When it kind of drops down after the chest at the waist and then it's pleated. I use that as a keyword because some of us love this style. It's really kind of flattering. It's got pockets on it. That thing's amazing. Um, I wonder if that'll fit me. It looks big even for me. This I just saw peeking out like this. I always look at this color, this sort of split P chartreuse color. It's very popular in the boho land. This is Eileen Fisher, one of my favorite brands to sell. It looks like the tag was cut out with the size or it's torn, so that's too bad. Um, I think all of you guys know the Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher, I pick up everything. This has a little spot on it, so I'm going to wash it. Oversized, tunicky kind of, kind of uh, t-shirt. I wish that was had a big size. I wish it was a more substantial piece, but I'm still going to get it. This is a great men's brand, Wallace and Barnes. I just sold a flannel by this brand. It's a very nice men's brand. These are shorts and you can see all these quality details on them. Um, they're not buttoned up, so they have a bunch of unique style details for like a chino short. See that waistband, they have a button fly. So this is a pretty cool brand. I don't find it very often at all. This I bought for style again. This is an oversized dress, perfect for somebody who likes to layer, who likes that art teacher, art to wear, artsy, bohemian, lagging look style. I think this says in floral fashion, I have no idea. But this is an oversized with a great print. Look at that. Kind of a circle print. And it's like a midi maxi depending on your height. On eBay, you guys, I can sell a lot of this stuff just with those keywords. Like no one's probably looking for that brand in Fornal. They might be, I'll do a little research. But if not, I'm gonna start my title with Lag and look women's oversized dress, art, art to wear, lightweight, maxi, like that. And I, I can sell stuff like that on eBay. This is the brand Quince. I just have been getting um, Instagram ads for, they make cashmere sweaters. I don't know what they retail for, so this will be fun to look up. Quince, this is a cashmere light brown turtleneck sweater. I usually list my cashmere sweaters about $40. These are very bright. Oh, this is for my kids collection stuff. Janie and Jack is a kids brand worth picking up. But if it's just like a pair of shorts like this, I'll lot it up with maybe a t-shirt or something else I find. So I just collect it. And then when I have a few pieces, I make a little lot. This is just a little bit more of Ben's life. Okay. All right, sorry, I've been neglecting you. I'll be honest. 
I uh, have been talking, 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 just getting all chatty. I love picking up stuff like this at the bins, just like a new journal. I think they're like 50 cents or something. And I found this cool hat I want to show you guys. Look at my car. It's absolutely nuts. Haven't sorted anything. This is nice. This is um, Banana Republic, and it's 100% wool. So that's a cool hat. Now, how the heck do you ship a hat? Shipping would be expensive, right? Because you'd have to put it in a box. Would I wear this hat? I don't... Is this good or bad or what? I have no idea. My mom's a super hat person. So, I'll put that down there. We'll see. I should probably start doing some sorting. They've only done one rotation. At my bins, they rotate every um, 30 minutes. They rotate one row. Ugh, sorting. Hmm, wish you guys were here. Okay, I did not want to stay for that last rotation because I have everything organized, ready to go. And, um, oh, thanks. Take a look at it. And um, I got stuck, which happens, where it's like my cart's here and I can't leave. But I'm glad I did because I got a bunch of free people, um, free people tops. Like, look at this waffle thermal. And it's a large, which is so hard to find. I love this one. It has a little fair aisle swaddle on the top in this waffle knit. Little lace trim on that baby. Yeah. Found a few others, too. So I really am going to try and go after this. I'm hungry. I'm tired. This is a brand I find a lot here in California, which is Cut Loose. It is a catalog brand, a boutique brand that they, um, it's hard to see, but it's Cut Loose. And they make things like this. This is a linen, 100% linen, kind of asymmetrical boho-y top. I love that stuff. Ooh, some lacy. Why would I buy white lacy at the bins? Because the chances of this not having some sort of flaw Oh, this is Tibby, and it's a 12. That's probably why I was willing to risk it. Tibby, an expensive women's feminine dress brand, and this is a great size. An ivory lace, probably kind of like a shift dress. It's not gonna be too fitted. Little A-line shift, that'd be so nice for an event of some sort. Oh, I can't wait to look these up. Maybe they're nothing, and I'll have no qualms about keeping them. They're small though. Good luck, Quimby. This is the name brand. I think it might be Hardtail, but I don't know. Maybe by the time this video comes out, I will have already looked it up. These are an acid stonewash legging, high rise, flare leg, and then look at that on the legs. All that heavy embroidery. Just really gorgeous embroidery work. I just love this. But, I'm not a small, let's face it. Let's not even try and put it in a Quemby pile. Let's just grieve it and move on. A large bra by Victoria's Secret. Push-up is the style, and it's a 38 DD. This is gorgeous. This is a very gorgeous bra. I like my bras to be very clean, without pills and flaws. And I'll ship this in a box because it has those formed cups. I'll probably get... 15 or 20 for that, plus $5.99 shipping. This is a new to me brand. I have more research to do, but it looked really good. Just female. That's a cool tag, right? Makes you go, what's that? And this is like a t-shirt dress. It's like a midi, kind of a chocolatey brown midi t-shirt dress. So lightweight, so inexpensive for me, and it could be really good. I love this brand, but it does not resell for a lot. I'll admit it to you. These are C&C California. They make a ton of linen stuff and like beach wear kind of stuff like t-shirts and little shorts, but their new tag, 100% Lyocell, vintage look, size medium. I think those are great. Little tie waist Lyocell shorts. We're not even through the first bag yet. Ooh, Torvald to be happy. I got him some new socks. I think you might like those. Put those in the Torvald pile. This is some denim. They better be good because denim at the bins is expensive. Oh, these are Everlane, which I absolutely love. And I think these are the barrel pants. These are a very new style. 
Everlane, I pick up everything. This is a brand that'll sell for me in a size zero or a plus size. Like it's just a great modern minimalist brand. It kind of reminds me of Eileen Fisher. Not quite high a, as high a price point, but these are denim. They have kind of the retro pockets and uh, they're, I think they're a barrel leg where it just gets, they're tapered. So they have like a regular leg and then they taper in a little bit. It's like a barrel style. Okay, do any of you guys do this where you get a message on Poshmark or eBay and you're like, oh no, <laughs> what is it? Is there a problem? Are they gonna complain? Do they wanna return? It's like, oh, let me go check it real quick. And then I get this great email message from uh, one of my buyers on Poshmark who started a conversation, which is 99% of the time is they have an issue. And the guy's like, it's great. Thank you for the quick delivery. I'm like, oh yes, that's so good. <laughs> But I'm doing my shipping, so I'm going to interrupt this video just to show you a few sales of things that I got at the bins. This was a cool sale. These sold on Poshmark right away, like in a matter of hours. These were born distressed brown leather women's size nine riding boots, and they sold for $41 plus shipping right away. And I don't know what they cost me at the bins, just a few dollars. Um, this is a handbag. Sorry, I already boxed it up, so I'll be sure to put a picture up. But this was Elk the Label, Genuine Leather, Large Handbag, Crossbody Purse. And um, I got it at the bin, so I paid just a couple dollars, and it sold for $79. Plus, the buyer paid $13.49 for shipping, so their total was $98.58 for a bag I got at the bins. So I just love it. This was an interesting sale. I was so excited to find these. These were the Lululemon Speed Up Running Shorts in camo, and they're in excellent shape, right? But then, when I was going to photograph them, somebody cut out the built-in brief. <laughs> so there's no holes, stains, pills, nothing, but the brief was cut out, so I just um, did a buy it now, and someone paid $19.99 plus shipping. So their total was $27.86 for the Lululemon shorts with the brief cut out. Now, I literally put it in my title with asterisks, I took photos of it, and I put it in my description. Hopefully they, they read that and saw that because <laughs> as you guys know, sometimes customers do not read. I bought this hat. I don't buy a lot of hats. They're a little trickier to store and ship, but this is 100% wool, size medium, large, fedora, Banana Republic. Really nice. So I think what I'll do is stuff this all with um, paper and then put it in a box like that. I think that's the only way to go. Ooh, these feel like linen. Oh, these are the J. Crew, that other pair of J. Crew small tall pull on wide leg elastic waist linen pants. So that's great. I love this. I know I'm not going to make too much money on it, but. I love this brand, Patrons of Peace, for like boho stuff, not too expensive. But check out that print. Is that not the best? And then it has the contrasting ruffle trim and then this embroider around the neck. Hope to get 15 for that. This is a brand that I personally love, doesn't sell as well as I would like, but this is Splendid. But this is their Eco line and this is a large. So they're using better materials and it's a camo, super duper soft pink camo sweatshirt. So I think it's a good size, great material and camo has just always done well. This is an anthropology brand called Language. I haven't found this in a while. So it might be kind of an older style but I think it's a super cute style. It's like a knit top, has a little cap sleeve baby doll style and then it's got those pockets with the contrasting uh, fabric there so I think that's really cute remember the old days when you could get like $40 for an anthropology piece and now it's like let's hope for 20 unless it's like a super newer style this is loft loft which is a division of Ann Taylor this is a kimono I do really well with kimonos a blue kimono with a great print. You can wear kimonos, yeah, to the pool as like a cover-up, but they're also a great layering piece. More modest, too, if you want to put something under and then have the kimono on top. 
a lot of people like that. This is a brand I don't usually pick up, but I'm giving it a try at the Brins for several reasons. It's Foxcroft. It's a large, so that's good. But this has a bird print. They make a lot of these like non-iron button-down work shirts, but this one is navy blue with a bird print. And novelty prints have always done well for me. You know, if it's like bicycles or pineapples, people like that, and bird in specific has done well. So let's see how that one does. This is a Rolling Stones graphic sweatshirt. I pick these up at the bins, um, and I usually flip them for 15 or 20 plus shipping. Just any type of band tee. Ooh, one of my best items is down there. Oh, these are for my little nephew. I'm making a little box for my baby nephew. These are the cutest little shorts. They're Tommy Bahama. That is so cute. Okay, this is my best find of the day, I think. This is an Eileen Fisher jacket. I found it when I first got there. That's probably why I was relaxed the rest of the day, because I'm like, well, I can probably get 75 or 100 for the Eileen Fisher jacket, so I can just relax. <laughs> it's an Eileen Fisher size medium. This is my third time finding an Eileen Fisher wool jacket. The first wool jacket sold for 99 plus $13.49 shipping. The last wool jacket wasn't a substantial. It sold for 75 and they sell right away. This is a long, long wool jacket, oversized with pockets in like a burgundy red wine. So that, my friends, will sell for a good amount. The pile's getting bigger. I have a bunch more items to show you. We're about like half this bag. Can you hang? I would appreciate it if you did. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Talbot simply fattering. Fattering? That is not what I want to say. What do they say? Take two? Take two. Talbot simply flattering five pocket in a 22W new with tags. This is a torrid plus size swim dress. This is so nice. It's black. It's got a swim skirt and it has a very substantial bra built in, like padded bra for someone with a larger chest. And this is a two, which is a two X. Torrid. Two is two X. One is one X, three is three X. This is really nicely made. If you pick up swim, you have to check the, the gusset or the crotch. You just have to. Has to be immaculate. Ooh, a bunch of free people, my favorite. This is a really cool one. It's a size medium. This says We the Free, it's free people. Size medium, this is their waffle thermal knit, which, is, which are great keywords because people love waffle knit in any brand. It has a Henley top and then it's got this um, bridge of district, it has patches on it. So I think that one's gonna do pretty well because I haven't seen that before. Vintage Nude Tag Capizio, really beautiful, romantic, little sheer top, very Y2K. I think it might even be before then. Made in the USA. Well, these I got for PD to try on. These are a pair of bonobos. Athletic wear type pants. This, these I bought to learn. I'm trying to learn more vintage. I'm trying to learn more about Nike Vintage. I just sold a pair of pants, this might have been in one of my recent videos, and they they were a vintage 90s Nike. They sold right away for $49.99. I was like, I didn't even know if I should pick them up because I don't know a lot. So I want to learn about the different um, tags. These are uh, Jordan, and these are a pair of black men's short. So I, I like researching the tags and then learning and at the bins is a good place to get to practice that. I What I do is I look up the labels, I google vintage Nike labels and somebody, some helpful person has like compiled a list of all the labels by the year so then I can date things. This is, I found this before, Mono Reno I guess. I don't know, um, but they make embroidered tops like this, and you know I'm a sucker for an embroidered peasant top. Kind of Johnny was, but not the same level of probably price point and quality, but this is all embroidery. Nice pop-over peasant top, 
gray with lots of heavy embroidery. This is an anthropology brand called Daughters of the Liberation. This is a size four. Daughters of the Liberation. And this is a lightweight kind of cargo jacket. Cute little drawstring waist utility cargo snap front jacket. I wonder why there's a piece of tape here. Maybe it's someone letting me know there's a flaw. I don't see a flaw, but I will check more. I'll put that in the stain treat pile. Ooh, we're gonna end with more fruit people, and this one's a good one. Free people size large. Again, with the waffle knit, but it's got like a fair aisle sweater type thing at the top. And then some lace at the side. So this has got a lot of mixed media going on. And it's a large, so that's amazing. We've got some more soft surroundings. Medium soft surroundings. I've sold this pair so many times. Soft surroundings. Pull on denim like pants elastic waist pull on denim comfort pants i've sold these so many times sometimes they have snaps at the hem <clears throat> and lastly we're going to end strong with another free people piece another white lace flowy asymmetrical hem free people tank 120 dollars for all that stuff it still blows my mind i do not take it for granted at all so grateful and I'm so grateful that you are here sharing in all of this with me. It would not be much fun without you. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe on the way out and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you didn't know, the bloopers are always at the end of the video. I know it's hard to believe that I would even make a blooper, but somehow I fear this is doing the awful looking down at my aged face thing, so I hope not. All right, is all this stuff in here? I've got to just, oh gosh, look at the top of my head for a minute. I gotta get this stuff all together somehow. Uh, it's all mixed in. Those will be my. <laughs> um, they might be searching women's XL resort wear, pool wear, vacay wear. I don't know. I don't think that was very clear but I was trying to say something. <laughs> I brought my water over here. This is like the never ending saga. I brought my water over here. Oh no, I didn't. I, I must have thought in my head, bring your water over. This is an Eileen. Oh, hi guys, I'm just stretching down again. Jeez. <laughs> I have no idea what this brand even says. I... Let me see. Still seeing. Still seeing. Fashion in... In floral? <coughs> <coughs> Gotta get the water again. Oh, there's the water. That's not the word. I wanted to do a cute little flippy, but I don't have a spot to do it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how me and other people make these YouTube videos. You know, we just show up and do the best we can, but it's imperfect over here. Let me just tell you that. 